So when you practice three-point perspective, I recommend that your, your horizon line goes this way on your page rather than this way. So I'm going to turn, sorry, turn the page this way and use my triangle, give myself a horizon line, and then I'm gonna turn my page back so it's the long way. All right, so we know that the differences between one, two, and three point have to do with your viewpoint and what you're looking at. So three point is gonna be just like two point, you're gonna work with that leading edge. So I'm gonna start out by giving myself a leading edge for my cube or my rectangular prism. I'm gonna put it right here. Okay, and before I move this, I'm gonna add in one of the vanishing points. So the first two vanishing points are gonna go on the horizon line up here, and the third one is gonna go below your leading edge. So I'm gonna leave this triangle here and give myself a vanishing point below it. And then I'll go up here and give myself one <clears throat> vanishing point on either side, <clears throat> excuse me, of the horizon line. Now I'm gonna proceed just like two point. Connect that way, like this. Same thing on the other side. Okay, <clears throat> now what I'm gonna do, just like two point, is decide how big I want the shape to be. So I'm going to give myself an indicator on those lines where I want that shape to be cut off. These are gonna to go to the opposite vanishing point, just like in two point. Pretty easy so far, right? It's just like two point. Okay, now's where the difference comes in. So this dot right here in two point, we would normally use our triangle and we'd have a straight up and down line right here that would be parallel to this one. In three point, we're gonna take that and bring it down to this vanishing point. So we don't need the triangle for this one, we need our ruler. It's gonna go all the way down there. And this one, like that. So now you can see you have your shape in three point perspective. One point, two point, three point. If we think about what we talked about earlier, you're starting with three points, a leading edge, and there are no sets of parallel lines. They all converge to a vanishing point. And there you have it, three point perspective.